Okay. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanye Nathasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Deve Ghoravani Precharine Nirvisesha Shanyavadi Paschatya Desatarine Panchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavan Hebyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rap Hare Hare <coughs> Okay so we're doing Krishna book we're on chapter 4 Kamsa begins his persecutions so we heard how Lord Krishna was born. And, and how Vasudev took him over to the home of Nanda Maharaj and he brought the girl, Mother Yashoda had given birth to a girl, so he brought the girl in exchange for the boy. Now Vasudev and Devaki were both in the prison house of Kamsa, but by the arrangement of Yoga Maya, all the doors opened and all the chains loosened and Vasudev could get free. And so he, kept, he, he brought the baby girl back to the prison. So Vasudev came back and by the arrangement of Yoga Maya, all the doors closed again, and it was just like Vasudev had never left the prison. He and Devaki were in the prison, and Devaki had the baby, but this was the baby girl. <laughs> So the gate there were gatekeepers, you know, like guards, and we they heard the baby crying. And when they heard the baby crying, then they, they woke up. And just like dogs, you know, one dog wakes up and it starts barking, then all the other dogs will wake up and they all start barking. So all the all the gatekeepers, all the guards, they all began to bark like, just like dogs. <laughs> So, this way Kamsa got the news that the child has been born. And when the child Kamsa got the news, he thought, Oh, now my time of death has come. So, 
พอคําสั่งได้ข่าวนี้เนี่ยคำสั่งก็รู้สึกว่าพอตอนนี้แหละบุตรที่กําลังจะมาสั่งหารข้าเนี่ยเขาได้เกิดขึ้นแล้ว because there had been a prophecy remember at the time of Vasudev and Devaki's marriage there had been a prophecy that their eighth child was going to kill Kamsa so this was their eighth child เพราะว่ามันมีคำทำนายไว้แล้วนะคะตั้งแต่ตอนที่เดวกีกับวาสุเดฟเนี่ยเข้าพิธีสมรสใช่ไหมคะตอนนั้นเนี่ยมีคำทำนายไว้ว่าบุคคลที่แปดของเดวกีเนี่ยจะเป็นคนที่สังหารคำสั So this way, Kamsa came rushing to the prison, and he wants to kill that child. So when, when Kamsa sees her brother coming, when she sees her brother Kamsa coming, she says to him, "Oh, please don't kill this child. This is a girl. This is a female child." If you don't, if you don't kill her, I promise that this girl can be the wife of one of your sons. She can marry one of your sons. Who, who said that, Mama? Devaki said to Kamsa. Okay, okay. พอฉันแล้วเดวกีนะคะก็ขอลองพี่ชายของตัวนะคะขอขอลองคำสาบบอกว่าเออพี่ชายดูสิเขาบอกว่าเออบุคคลที่แปลกของข้าจะเป็นผู้ชายแต่ตอนนี้เป็นผู้หญิงเพราะฉะนั้นเด็กผู้หญิงคนนี้เขาจะไม่ทําอะไรท่านแน่นอนเขาจะไม่วันมาสังหารท่านแน่นอนฉันขอเก็บเขาไว้เถอะแล้วก็ในอนาคตเขาจะสามารถแต่งงานกับบุตรของท่านได้นะคะก็จะสามารถเป็นลูกสะใภ้ในบ้านท่านได้ได้โปรดอย่าอย่าฆ่าเขาเถอะ She said this is a girl you're not going to be killed by any girl the prophecy was that you would be killed by a male child so you don't need to kill her และสถานีเขาก็จะพูดว่าเดวกีก็จะบอกว่าเห็นไหมคะว่าความจริงอะคำทำนายอะเขามีไว้ว่าพี่อาจะโดนสังหารโดยเด็กที่เป็นผู้ชายไม่ใช่ผู้หญิงอันเนี้ยเขาเป็นผู้หญิงเขาไม่ทำอะไรพี่หรอกค่ะ You killed all my six sons who were born You killed all of them I know you killed them because you were given that advice by your bad friends แล้วก็เดวกีก็บอกต่อว่าพี่อะได้สังหารบุตรทั้งเจ็ดคนของข้าไปแล้วหกเจ็ดคนของข้าไปแล้วนะแต่ว่าข้าเข้าใจว่าที่พี่ทําไปอ่ะก็เนื่องจากว่าพี่เนี่ยมีเพื่อนที่ไม่ดีแล้วก็เป็นการยุ่งโยงของเพื่อนพี่เนี่ยทําให้พี่ได้กระทําสิ่งนั้น Just let this girl live. Let her be my daughter. ว่าขอขอเธอขอว่าอยากฆ่าเขาเลยได้ไหมอยากฆ่าลูกสาวของข้าเลยขอให้เขาเนี่ยได้มีชีวิตอยู่ด้วยเถอะ But Kamsa did not care. He was more worried about his own life, and so he grabbed the child, and he was going to smash the child on the stone floor, but the child slipped from his hands and went up into the sky. คำสั่งก็ไม่สนใจต่อคำอ้อนวอนของเดวกีในการไว้ชีวิตสาวน้อยคนนี้นะคะก็ปรากฏว่าสังคำสั่งนะห่วงแต่ชีวิตของตัวเองว่าตัวเองจะตายนะคะก็เลยไปคว้าเด็กมาจากมือของเดวกีนะคะแล้วก็พอไม่จะเฟี่ยงเขาลงไปบนพื้นเนี่ยเพื่อที่จะฆ่าเด็ก And when she appeared with eight arms, she had all the different ornaments of Mother Durga. She held things like a bow and a sword and a disc and a club. แล้วก็แต่ปรากฏว่านะคะเด็กเด็กผู้หญิงคนนั้นก็ดิ้นหลุดมือไปนะคะจนแล้วก็ปรากฏในรูปของพระแม่ดูรกานะคะในมือด้วยมีแปดกรอน So when Mother Durga appeared like this, all the demigods who were watching, they began to offer. Different articles and offer prayers to her. Now, พอพระแม่ดูรกาเนี่ยปรากฏในรูปลักษณ์นี้ใช่ไหมคะทุกคนเนี่ยเราเทวดาทุกคนก็มาแสดงความเคารพแล้วก็แสดงถวายบทมนต์ต่างๆ And then Mother Durga spoke to Kamsa and said, "You're a you're a rascal, Kamsa. You cannot kill me." แล้วก็พระแม่ดูรกานะคะก็จะพูดกับคําสาบบอกว่าเจ้าคําสาบหน้าโง่เจ้าเนี่ยไม่สามารถสังหารข้าได้หรอก The child who's going to kill you 
is already born in another place. And she said, you should not be so cruel to your sister. So Kamsa, actually, he's a devotee of Durga. The demons generally, they worship the demigods like Durga, uh, Shiva and like that. They, they, this is who the demons worship. So when Kamsa saw Durga, he was very shocked. It was a big surprise. Because Devaki, he thought Devaki is giving birth to the goddess Durga. So she must be a very great person. She's not an ordinary person. So Kamsa's mood changed towards Devaki and Vasudev, and he he released them from the prison, and he began to apologize to them. And he told them, he said, I've been very bad, I've been a demon, I killed my own nephews, your children. I may have to go to hell for what I've done to your children. And he said, I know you are both very great souls, you're very pious. So I ask you, please don't be sorry about the death of your children. Kamsa began, is telling Vasudev and Devaki, it must have been the karma for your sons that they were meant to be killed. But he told them, he said, you know, the, they're not the body. I, I said, I can, the body, their bodies have been killed, but they're still living. The spirit soul cannot be killed. And then Kamsa began to say, he said, he said, actually, I didn't do it. He said, it was all, it was arrangement of destiny. It was meant to happen. I'm not responsible. It, and Kamsa said, people are wrong. If they think at the time of death everything is finished, the soul never dies. So in this way, Kamsa asked Vasudev and Devaki, he said, Please forgive me for all the things which have happened, but I've done many, many bad things to you. You're very pious, so please be forgiving. And Kamsa had tears coming from his eyes and he fell at the feet of Vasudev and Devaki. 
อย่างคําซาก็มีน้ําตานะคะไหลออกมาแล้วก็ก้มลงกราบคอขมาที่เท้าของทั้งวาสุเดวแล้วก็เดวีคุกเข่า And so he he unlocked their chains and he released them and a p o l o g you know and he sent that told them uh, he, he began to treat them like his family members and make friendship with them. So Devaki is very great. So she for, she forgave her brother, and she she became, you know, she just forgot what he had done and forgave him. And Vasudev also, he he also forgave him, forgave him, and he began to preach to him. Although Kamsa is a demon, he knows about the soul. He understands the soul. He just doesn't believe in the supreme soul. Kamsa is a demon. He knows about the soul. And、the demons are always against the supremacy of the supreme Lord. But they have they understand there's a soul that when the body dies, the soul doesn't die. So Vasudev told Kamsa, he said that, that this idea of being friend and enemy, he said this is all due to ignorance. This is due to thinking we're the body. On the basis of the body, we make someone a friend and someone an enemy. And he said, because of this, when we're thinking friend and enemy, then we forget our re relationship with the supreme Lord. For the devotee, everyone is servant. And、the supreme Lord is the master, and we are all His servant. So Vasudev told Kamsa that all of these things which had happened, the killing of the children, and it all been due to being in the bodily concept, thinking we were the body. So Kamsa was very happy to hear this, and he he、uh, gave permission to Devaki and her brother-in-law to go to home, and Kamsa went to his home, and this way that was all forgotten. But then the next day, Kamsa called all of his demon friends to come, and he told them what had happened the night before. So when the demons heard that a girl had been born and that that girl was Goddess Durga, they were very depressed. They didn't like to hear that at all. So 
So they, they began to tell Kamsa what he should do. Although they didn't really have much knowledge, still they started to give Kamsa instruction. They told him what we will do. They said, we should make arrangements to kill all the children who were born in the last ten days. Because Durga had said the child was born some other place, so they said, so we will go everywhere, we'll find all the children born in the last ten days and we'll kill them. So they went everywhere in the kingdom of Kamsa. In the kingdom of Kamsa, it's all demons, and they killed all the children of the demons. And they said, if we do, when we do this, I don't think the demigods can stop us. They can't stop us from doing this. They're afraid of us. And they, they talked how Kamsa is so brave and so strong that the demigods are afraid to fight with him and they run away from him. And we know, the, the, the demons also said, we know, Lord Vishnu, he's, he's hiding himself. He's hidden in the heart. He hides himself in the heart of all the living entities. And he cannot come out. He cannot come out. And Lord Shiva, he won't help them because he's already gone into the forest. He's doing some uh, renunciation in the forest. And Lord Brahma, he's doing his meditation on top of the lotus flower, so he won't bother us. And Indra, he doesn't have any strength, he's nobody, we can easily crush him. So we want to, we want your permission that we can do this. We want to, we, we want to kill all these children and we want to also, uh, we shouldn't be afraid of the demigods. Just like they, they give the, the demons give an example. See, just like if there's a disease in the body, if you neglect it, then it can get worse and then you can die. You will never cure it. Yeah, Prabhupada used to quote Chanakya. 
Chanakya Pandit. And Chanakya Pandit said, three things have to be taken care of immediately. You can't neglect them. One is debt. If you're in debt, you want to take care of it. You can't neglect it. The second thing is fire. If there's some fire there, you better take care of that, otherwise we'll grow a big fire and destroy everything. And the third thing is disease. If you have some disease, you may think, oh, it's just a small disease, not important. But if you neglect it, it can grow, it can get worse, and it can, you can die. First one is debt. Debt. You owe money, you borrow money. Oh, you can, debt, debt. Okay. And just like if we're not careful about controlling the senses, if we don't control the senses, you let the senses become uncontrolled, then it's very difficult to control them again. Sometimes we think, I'll just have a little sense gratification for a few days, I'll just, you know, be un un unregulated, I'll just do what I you know, do all kinds of Maya things. And then when you try to control your senses again, it's very difficult. So in this way the demigods were telling Kamsa, rather the demons were all the demons were all calling telling to Kamsa that we have to be very careful about the demigods before they get too powerful. And the demigods, they get their power by yagya, when the people do sacrifice. So these, these brahmanas are doing the yagya, so we want to stop all these brahmanas from doing the yagya for Vishnu. So we want to kill all the brahmanas, and we'll kill the cows as well because they use the cows to get the ghee and they use the ghee for the yagya. So if we kill the cows and we kill the brahmanas, then they won't do yagya anymore. So this way the demons, they are asking Kamsa, please give us your permission to kill all of these creatures. So 
ได้โปรดให้การอนุญาตการอนุญาตต่อพวกข้าพเจ้าเถิดและพวกข้าพเจ้าจะได้ไปลงมือกระทำสิ่งเหล่านี้ The demon said We know we can't kill Vishnu because he's in everyone's heart. But if we kill the Brahmanas and the sages, that will be as good as killing Vishnu because these people represent Vishnu. And because of Lord Vishnu, then there's so much religiosity and Vedic knowledge and all of these different things which are there with Lord Vishnu. So because of the bad association of all these demons, Kamsa got influenced. Yeah, when he saw we, the day before, when he saw his sister Devaki that her child was Durga, he became very respectful and he wanted to honor them. But now he's become influenced by the demons. All the demons have been, they've come and they're telling him different things. They changed his mind, they changed his thinking. Now he simply wants to give trouble to the brahmanas and the devotees. Yeah, we, we reflect the qualities of the people we associate with. So because comes associated with all these demons, he heard from them, he became also very demonic and he ordered the demons to go and give trouble to all the devotees. So all of these, uh, all of the associates of Kamsa, they're all in the mode of passion and ignorance. And their only business is to give trouble to the pure-hearted devotees. So because they perform so, so many offensive activities, then they, they, their life is reduced. They don't live very long time. They, because they're so offensive, they, be, they, they get, they, they lose all their bodily luster and they get very bad name and they, they have no religious principles. So they don't do any pious activities. All they do is sinful activities. So they cannot expect to go to higher planets. 
They have to go to hell. They go down into the lower planets and they don't go into the lower species of life like animals. It is said, if you, if you commit an offense against a brahmana or a devotee, it's more serious than offending the Supreme Lord Himself. Mm -hmm. The devote one can tolerate Krishna can tolerate offenses against himself, but he cannot tolerate to see offenses against his devotees. Just like you can tolerate the heat of the sun on your head, but you cannot tolerate it on your feet. So the devotees and the brahmanas, they are sheltered at the lotus feet of Krishna. So because of their sinful activities, then we get so many problems in the human society. If, the, if people in the world have no faith in the Supreme Lord, if they don't believe in God, then it's a very inauspicious condition. And this inauspiciousness results in many disasters and many problems for the world. Oh. Okay, so we stop here. Are there any questions? Okay, We've been hearing about Kamsa and how he's doing, how he's giving so much trouble to all the devotees. So sometimes governments are like that. They, they stop all the religious activities. They don't want any they don't want any sankirtan, they don't want any yagya. Sometimes the governments are very demonic, like the like Kamsa. Okay, any question? Anybody? Hare Krishna, ha. Hare Krishna, ha. Ha, uh, 
ักคนอย่างเงี้ยค่ะมันก็เป็นอาบัตถุไหมคะเราทุกคนจะทํำยังไงดีคะถ้ามันแบบเป็นอย่างนั้นบังเอิญไปสร้างใช่ไหมคะไม่ได้ตั้งใจสร้างนะคะไม่ได้ตั้งใจแล้วเราคิดว่าเขาน่าจะแบบรู้สึกแย่อะไรอย่างเงี้ยโอเคได้ค่ะ so m a d h v i Pawani m a d h v i question is what if we uh, we hurt devotees unknowingly we don't mean to do that but somehow by our uh, action or our speech or something make them feel hurt so how to fix that uh huh so that's why usually every day When we gather together in the temple in the morning program after the Mongol a r t i then we will all offer obeisances to all the devotees. When s r i l a Prabhupada first came to India from America. He brought many of his American disciples, and they were all young and very enthusiastic, and they had all been leaders. But it was difficult for them all to get along with each other. เพราะฉะนั้นตอนที่ศิลปรพันได้เผยแพร่สามีที่ยุโรปใช่ไหมคะก็มีสาวกหลายคนเนี่ยมาร่วมขบวนการแต่เนื่องจากแต่ก็พวกเขาเนี่ยต่างคนต่างก็อยากจะเป็นผู้นำซึ่งมันยากในการที่จะให้ทุกคนเนี่ยเข้ากันได้ So Prabhupada told them every morning when when they have morning program they should all offer obeisances to each other and this will uh, this will nullify take away all the effect of any offenses they may have committed against each other เพราะฉะนั้นศิลปรพันธ์ก็จะบอกไว้เลยว่าเพราะฉะนั้นเวลาพวกเธอเจอกันเนี่ยก็ควรที่จะถวายความเคารพซึ่งการละกันซึ่งการถวายความเคารพนี้ใช่ไหมคะที่เราถวายความเคารพต่อสาวกเนี่ยมันจะทําให้อาบัตของเราที่ทําต่อสาวกผู้นั้นเนี่ยลบเลือนไป So you know someone like Madhavi Pavani she's not living in the temple so you don't come for the morning program you don't have a morning program but when you meet the devotees Then it's very nice that we offer our obeisances. You see, just simply say, "Please accept my humble obeisances." Even when you take a phone call from devotee, you can say, "Oh, Hari Krishna Prabhu, please accept my humble obeisances." หรือว่าเวลาเราคุยโทรศัพท์กันนะคะการคุยโทรศัพท์กันของเราก็หลังจากเราพูด Hari Krishna เสร็จเนี่ยเราก็จะพูดการถวายความเคารพต่อสาวกนะคะ When I would go to Purnamasi's home, so Purnamasi's grandchildren will come, and Purnamasi will teach them Gong Lam Gap, Gong Lam Gap. <laughs> you know, they, they will bow down to me. Gong Lam Gap, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, เหมือนกันเวลาบุรุษมาไปที่บ้านของปุณณมาสีมาตจีใช่ไหมคะปุณณมาสีมาตจีเนี่ยก็เวลาลาลาบมาตจีมาเนี่ยมาตจีก็จะบอกสอนลาลาบอกว่าเนี่ย So, so this is Vaishnava etiquette. That we offer our respects to all the devotees. Because, because we don't know if we commit, we may have committed offences without knowing it. So if we offer our obeisances, then that won't take away any. Uh, any effect which may be there. So when you have program on Saturday at a b e c you can also you can do like that. Teach everyone to offer obeisances. Everyone offer obeisances together. 
นะเวลาเรามีโปรแกรมวันเสาร์นะคะที่แบกอะไรอย่างนี้เราก็สามารถเราก็สามารถสอนเสาร์ทุกคนให้แบบว่าเรียนรู้การแสดงความเคารพต่อสาวกท่านอื่นอะไรอย่างนี้So the the actual king was Surasen, the father of Kamsa, but Kamsa was a demon. He put his own father in the jail, made himself the king. So he didn't become the king in the proper in the proper manner. Of course, in the times of Lord Krishna, there were many kings who were demons. They had become kings, but they were not kings in the proper name, in the proper manner. They were not establishing the principles of religion. The real purpose of the king is to represent God, and if they're not representative of God, then they're not proper kings. So therefore, Lord Krishna had to come and relieve the earth of the burden of all of these demonic kings by arranging battle of Kurukshetra. They all came to fight, and so then they, all these kings could be removed from the planet. Just like you have people with their brahmanas, but the brahmana in name only. They, you know, they may have the brahman birth, they may have the brahman thread. But the, they don't have the Brahmin qualities, so they're Brahmin in name only. In the same way, people may be kings in name only, without having the proper qualities of the Kshatriya. So some of the kings, although they're not devotees, still they're in some ways they have some material qual good qualities. They may be, they may be very bold. They're courageous. They, they fight in the battle, and they may give charity, and like that. And just like you have brahmanas, not all brahmanas are devotees. So the same way you've got kshatriyas, not all kshatriyas are devotees. But 
that if they get the position of king, it's a sign they've got some, some good karma, that they can enjoy material facilities. But at the same time they're not devotee, so they cannot enjoy for very long. Yeah. In Srimad Bhagavatam we read about kings like Venu. Venu was ve he was very cruel. He would play with his friends and he would kill the young friends who he would play with. He was so cruel. So finally the Brahmanas, they cursed Venu to die. And from his body, they churned out the body of Maharaj Prithu. And Maharaj Prithu was a great king. So the kings are meant to work under the under the direction of the brahmanas, and when they when they don't follow the teachings of the brahmanas, then the brahmanas they can remove the king. อีกมีคําถามค่ะอาจารย์ค่ะที่มิชเนลถามไปว่าถ้าเกิดว่าเราทําอาบัติกับสาวกคนอื่นโดยที่ไม่ตั้งใจทีนี้อาจารย์อย
In the, same, in the same way, somebody is a devotee or a brahmana, and if they do bad things, they do irreligious things, then they will get more punishment from Krishna. Because they're setting a very bad example. Because people know, oh, they, 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 they're a devotee. And look, see, they're doing that. They're a devotee. They're smoking. They're drinking. They're doing these things. Why can't I do it? So one who is devotee, they have a responsibility to show the right behavior, to show the right example. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay, my happy. Okay, ka. thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay. Okay, Guru Maharaj, I also have one question. May I? Yeah. Yeah. My question is as you mentioned earlier about Kamsa, that actually by nature he is not that bad. Uh, he was almost like uh, being very good already after he, he realized his mistake. But by association, again, his demonic nature is coming up. So basically, can we say like, he, Kamsa is not that bad, but because of his association, turn him to be like that. So can we like, is he not really bad from inside? Or he is also bad from within? Like how, how do we? How can we say that? Well, what is his real nature? <laughs> we we could say everyone's nature is to be a devotee. Everyone's nature is devotee. Every every spirit soul is a servant of Krishna. But we have free will, and we we're, we're given that free will. So we if we if we use our free will in the wrong way, then we're responsible. We have to we have to take the the reaction for it. So Kamsa was bad. He certainly was bad. His previous life he had been killed by Vishnu. Okay. And he, he killed six children just after their birth. He took his sister's children, six sons, and killed them one after another. That's quite a, a heavy thing to do. You have to be very cold-hearted and cruel to do that. And we'll see also how he's killed by Krishna finally. But he tried so many ways to kill Krishna. And we, we just read today how he's approving the demons to go everywhere and kill all the young children. <laughs> <laughs> 
บอนเราเราก็เห็นวันนี้แล้วว่าคำสั่งเนี่ยก็จะอนุญาตนะคะให้ให้ลูกน้องของเขาเนี่ยไปสังหารคนที่เด็กที่เกิดใหม่มาทั้งหมดเนี่ยทั่วประเทศเขาเนี่ยให้ไปสังหารทั้งหมด And so we can understand how bad, how evil, how hard his heart was. That he, he, you know, he he's so attached to his own self, to his own body. And although he was talking nice things to Vasudev and Devaki, the next day he went and changed everything again. So very difficult to. Get a person to give up this kind of bad habits, this kind of his demonic thinking. So in the Kali Yuga, Lord Chaita Krishna comes as Lord Chaitanya, his most merciful form, to give mercy to all these demons and to make them devotees. Five thousand years ago, in the time of Lord Krishna, there was a different yuga, and Krishna was killing the demons. But in the Kali Yuga, he doesn't kill the demons; he 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 just makes them devotees. We see Jagai and Madai. They were very sinful, and one of them had hit Lord Nityananda with the pot of wine, and Lord Chaitanya was coming. He was going to kill them. So in the Kali Yuga, the devotee and the demon are in the same body. So we cannot kill the demons. We have to make them devotees. We give them the holy name. We give them prasadam. We give them our books. We want to make them. We want to change the demons and make them devotees. <laughs> This is Lord Chaitanya's mercy to give mercy. In the previous age, it was different. Krishna came, killed the demons. Okay. Any other question? Thank you, Guru. Okay. มีใครมีคำถามอีกไหมคะจริงๆเชื่อมีอีกอะค่ะแต่ว่าถามได้ไหม We can she ask one more question, Guru? We can take this as the last question. Okay. Uh, Guru, we shall. เคยฟังจากพระพุทธาเรารู้มาว่าตอนที่ฮิรัญญาคาชิภูเกิดเนี่ยมันมีเรื่องราวที่ว่าการเกิดของฮิรัญญาคาชิภูเนี่ยท่านเกิดมาได้ยังไงทําไมท่านถึงแบบเกิดมาแล้วก็มีธรรมชาติของมารใช่ไหมคะแต่ว่าในเนี้ยมิเชลอยากจะรู้ว่าคําสั่งกับเดวาคีเนี่ยเกิดมาแตกต่างกันโดยสิ้นเชิง
เรื่องราวของการเกิดของพวกเขาเนี่ยเป็นยังไงคะอยากรู้การเกิดของเดวกีหรือว่าอยากรู้ของพระสัตว์ก็มันน่าจะอ๋อเพราะเขาเป็นพี่น้องกันนะคะใช่ค่ะอ๋อโอเค her question is uh, like uh, she heard about uh, when k i r a n y a k a s h i p u r was born all the uh, bad symptom was there like earthquake and everything was there so she like to know what, how Uh, how about when Hamsa take birth? And how about when Devaki take birth? What is the difference? Why they two become very different? Devaki be like very devotee and Hamsa be very demonic. Well, well, we don't know exactly what was the situation, but we know when Lord Krishna was born. When Lord, Lord Krishna was born, everything was very auspicious. But uh, of course, at the same time, at the time of Lord Krishna's birth, that night there was a heavy rain. There was a heavy rain, and the river Yamuna was was uh, was uh, it was flowing very fast. There were big waves in the river Yamuna. <laughs> รู้ตอนที่กฤษณาเนี่ยทรงเกิดตอนนี้กฤษณาเกิดเนี่ยตอนนั้นเนี่ยมีฝนตกหนักมากนะคะฝนตกหนักมากแล้วก็แม่น้ำยมุนาก็คือแบบขึ้นมาเต็มเลย But if you if remember the time of Lord Krishna's birth, there were auspicious planets visible, like the Ashwini star and the Rohini planet. All of these things are very auspicious. เพราะฉะนั้นแล้วก็จะมีพวกดวงดาวที่เป็นสิริมงคลนะคะปรากฏตอนช่วงที่กฤษณาจะส่งประสูตรอย่างเช่นมีอัสตรีนีดวงดาวอัสตรีนีอะไรอย่างนี้แล้วก็มีดาวอื่นๆนะคะที่เป็นมงคลมาก But at the time of the birth of the demons, you see all inauspicious planets like Rahu and Ketu and these kind of planets will be there. They make people they influence the qualities of the people to be very bad. Of course, Sri Mad Bhagavatam does say if there's some big storm and thunderbolts and lightning, then probably. p r o p h e t said, "This could be a sign that some demons are taking birth." But inauspicious times can be changed. They can become auspicious by the chanting of the holy name. We could say Kali Yuga is inauspicious time. It's a dark age. But if, because of the chanting of the holy name, it becomes very auspicious. So devotees are not affected by inauspicious, by something being inauspicious or inauspicious. It's material. Devotee, by Krishna consciousness, they can make everything auspicious. Okay. Thank you, Archana. 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 Okay. Thank you,
Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Ki. Go back to Vrindaki. Guru Mahal.